everyone! This video is going to be about how I was able to get a job at Goldman Sachs through their summer internship program and some tips and tricks to hopefully help you do the same. I'm a chartered financial analyst, so if anyone has any questions about the CFA program or anything related, uh, please drop a question or a comment below and I'll be happy to answer. My first tip would be to prioritize getting a 3.5 or higher GPA from your freshman to junior year of college. This is super important because most financial institutions like Goldman Sachs will pretty much filter out any resumes that have below a 3.5 GPA. They really want candidates who are hardworking and capable of doing the work. And if you think about it, getting a 3.5 GPA in college is pretty much like a B plus or an A minus on average, which isn't really that tough to achieve if you stay on top of deadlines, if you apply yourself, if you pay attention in class. Um, so really strive to get that 3.5 GPA or higher. My second tip would be to explore and research the financial services industry. So you don't want to apply for a job at Goldman Sachs in every single one of the departments that they have because that's going to give a really weird signal that you don't know what you want and you're just trying to eagerly get a job at the firm. So I remember pretty much like at the end of my freshman year, beginning of my sophomore year, I was really exploring the industry and seeing where would I really fit well within the company. I pretty much did this just by looking at the official website. If you go onto the Goldman Sachs website, they have you know different descriptions of different departments and also career profiles of people working in those departments which makes it super easy to see what a day in the life is like or what people's educational backgrounds are my next tip would be to attend networking events um, these are either virtual or in person they can happen at the company's headquarters or on campus so what's really nice is companies like Goldman Sachs usually have schools that they target recruit in and they will actually come on campus to these schools to bring alumni employees to speak to students and give their experiences on what it's like working at the company. These events are really important to build your network. If you don't have family connections or you know friends that work at Goldman Sachs, this is pretty much getting your foot in the door and improving your network. I didn't know anyone that worked at Goldman Sachs and I was able to meet people through these networking events and really kind of expand my network of people that I know there. Another important piece of this event is that after the discussion or the presentation is over you're really want to going to come up to somebody that you know something resonated with you with what they said during the conversation or you know you think that they may be able to help you in the future you should come up to them and introduce yourself i don't care if you're shy if you're introverted if this is not your thing you have to come up to people and network with them this was kind of a little bit like uneasy for me to do at first but after a while it becomes very natural and you know you want the job so you really want to invest yourself in meeting people and expanding your network um, so you can be successful in your interview is just state your name say who you are um, say you know it was really interesting what they had to say about xyz or you know their experience working on what deal they anything that they pretty much mentioned just mention that and be like oh i'd like to learn more like is there something you can tell me about um it's really as simple as that always ask for a business card or contact information if they don't have a business card on file what they'll usually do is give you their email, which is also great. Um, and the next tip is probably one of my most important ones. So the next tip is to follow up. After you met this person at a networking event or you know, you've been introduced to them, the next day they're on their job, they probably forgot about you and you don't want that. You want them to remember you by name. So you'll email them and you know, say a very brief short message that it was nice to meet them, thank them for coming out on campus. Um, just say hi, it was really nice to meet you. I really enjoyed hearing about you know, what investment banking looks like and what a day in the life is like. You could also say something along the lines of like, can you connect me? Would you be able to connect me with a campus recruiter? For the most part, you don't even have to ask a question. You could just say, it was really nice to meet you. Um, I'm glad we had the chance to connect. Um, really enjoyed hearing your take on XYZ topic. Um, and they'll reply, usually saying it was great to meet you keep in touch keep it very short and simple you don't want this to be like a 20 email thread um, they are busy and they have things to do but this is a very important step and you'll see why in a few steps so the next tip I would have is to prep your cover letter and your resume. You're going to need a cover letter and a resume to apply. You know, we're not looking at your Instagram profile to get a job at Goldman Sachs. People want to see what experience you have, what your grades are, you know, can you write in a cover letter? Can you be formal? Are you able to write in a business, you know, professional way? And I think that these documents are, you know, pretty cut and dry. Finance isn't very colorful and bubbly. So this is not the time to use crazy fonts or colors. 
Um, you know, graphic design has a place, but definitely not in a cover letter for Goldman Sachs or in a resume. Um, if you guys want, I'm happy to share my cover letter and resume with you and I can make a video if that's of interest. You know, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to share that. Um, I also use this book. It's called How to Get a Job on Wall Street. Um, they have tips and tricks for resumes and cover letters and in general, the whole interview process. Um, I can link the book down below as well if you guys are interested, it was super helpful for me. So now it's time to finally submit your application on the official website. You got your resume in order, you got your cover letter in order, you have your great GPA and you're finally submitting the application. So what happens next? A company like Goldman Sachs has tens of thousands of applicants. It's very, very hard to go through all of the resumes and sift through them. So first there's usually a GPA filter, a school filter. Um, I'm not sure what other filters they use in their algorithm, but the best way to get chosen for an interview is to follow up with that email that you sent after your networking event. It's very simple, just sending them, hey, thanks so much for you know helping me through the process. Uh, you know, just submitted my application. I'm so excited. Really hope to intern with the company. You know, or, you know, thanks so much for inspiring me to apply to this position. I just submitted my application online. You know, hope to hear back from the company soon. Something very subtle. You don't pretty much tell them, hey, can you get my resume chosen? If they like you and you developed a rapport for them, they will most likely tell the recruiter, like, let's pull out this resume. Let's invite this person for an interview. The reason this step is important and why the step that I mentioned before to follow up is important is because it's very, very awkward to just randomly message somebody that you met at a networking event months ago saying, hey, I applied for the job. Do you mind pulling my resume? They'll be like, who is this person? And it's also kind of a little bit not nice to ask somebody for a favor that you didn't even have the decency to email them thanking them to come on campus or you know just establishing some sort of rapport so that's why i really like following up with people and establishing a rapport in the beginning so when you kind of do need them to maybe pull your resume or ask for a favor it's not as awkward and it's not a transaction in a way you've kind of established some rapport and a friendship in a sense or you know some sort of professional relationship and they'll be happy to pull your resume if you made a good impression so the next phase is pretty much just waiting till you get an interview and this brings me to my next step the interview um the interview is pretty important and it can be stressful but it doesn't have to be so usually banks like goldman sachs will have an on-campus um or like a one-on-one -on -one, like initial interview and then they'll do a super day interview. So these two are pretty much the same. The only difference is the length and the number of people that you're meeting with. The initial interview will usually be with one person and it'll be maybe 30 minutes to an hour, but usually it's 30 minutes. Um, and then if you pass that stage, you go on to a super day interview, which is usually in the company's offices. So I had mine in the Goldman Sachs headquarters and I pretty much met with, I'd say like five to six people that day, people ranging from analysts to vice presidents to managing directors, believe it or not. So it is kind of a big deal. It can be stressful, but it really doesn't have to be. So my tips and tricks for the interview, I would say, you know, most basic tip is to be very professionally dressed polished, groomed very well, you're meeting with some very senior people and you wanna dress yourself professionally and carry yourself in that manner as well. But also be friendly, put a smile on your face, it'll you know help relax your nerves. Um, I would say it was very much an intellectual conversation which kind of leads me to some more tips on the interview process itself is to have an intellectual conversation with the person in front of you. It should be a two-way conversation. You should be asking questions. You should be talking. The person should be talking. They should be asking you questions, obviously. Um, and a way to kind of prepare for this step is to be informed. Know what's going on in the financial markets. Um, make sure that you're staying up to date on current events, kind of know what's going on, you know, maybe read the Wall Street Journal a couple weeks ahead of time if that's not something you're already doing regularly. Um, and also maybe brush up on basics and finance. Um, um, something else that I should stress, during the conversation, they're obviously gonna ask you why Goldman Sachs, why this department, why are you interested? These are things that you must kind of almost have memorized in the back of your mind. Out, but if you can have like at least three bullet points in your brain about things that you can talk about, like why Goldman Sachs, one, two, three, or why this department, why investment banking, why equity research, one, two, three, these are the reasons, back them up with, you know, maybe examples from school or things you've read in the Wall Street Journal or 
something, you know, networking event that you've been to. And also this is the time to name drop people that you've met at networking events. This is the time to say, yeah, I got the chance to meet with so-and-so and they told me about, you know, how great this department was or how great their experience was, name drop. It will help you because they will know that you know people in the firm and you're really making an effort to kind of be part of this culture. And I'd say at Goldman Sachs, networking and meeting people and being really involved in the firm and the culture is something that they value. And if you're starting off, you know, even before you got the job, that's a really great sign. And, um, you know, don't be afraid to name drop. I think it'll only work in your favor unless you do it very excessively. Um, but it's usually a good sign if you know people from the company and you've met them at a networking event and, you know, they kind of know who you are. Don't lie. Don't mention names of people that you Googled on LinkedIn. Um, if you never met this person and they have no idea who you are, don't mention their name. But if you did establish a rapport with them and, you know, you email them, like I said before, you should be fine. So now that the interview is over, um, it was a really stressful day, I'm sure. And, you know, you're really feeling overwhelmed, but you're also relieved that the interview is over. But it's kind of not over because now you have to send a thank you follow up email. Um, I'd say it's super important to thank everyone that you meet at your interview. Write a short note. Again, it doesn't have to be anything long. If you can remember something specific that you spoke to them about during the interview, that's great. And that would like sort of be like the cherry on top. But if you can, just write them a pretty generic email saying it was great to meet you, um, you know, really enjoyed my time. Thank you for taking the time to interview me. I'm super, you know, interested in joining the firm and, you know, hope to hear from Goldman Sachs soon. Um, you know, I could share some templates that I've used also um, and hopefully they'll be able to help you. But again, this is an important step. So they remember who you are. They probably interviewed a lot of people that day, um, but your name should be standing out to them and at least be familiar to them. And one caveat here in the super day, when you do meet many different people, don't send the same email to every single person. Um, it sounds very non-genuine and just not a good look. So, you know, kind of change up the wording a little bit or add something specific that you spoke about with one person that, you know, was different from your other conversations. And uh, hopefully you'll be hearing a call from Goldman Sachs soon that you landed the internship or you landed the job. If you guys have any other questions about my experience working there or, you know, anything else in finance, I'm happy to answer. And I hope you guys are gonna land that job at Goldman soon. Thank you for watching.